Open source ERP can save you thousands or cost you even more. I've seen it go both ways. For some businesses, it's a smart, scalable move. For others, it turns into a technical mess that drains time and budget. That's why today, I'm giving you my top three open source ERPs. That way, you can determine if going open source is right for you. I'll start out with ERP Next, which in my opinion is the most flexible open source ERP overall. It's industry agnostic, and it has all the modules you could want. Accounting, inventory, HR, CRM, manufacturing, regardless of your field. I really like its customization options, especially in the double entry accounting module. You can add custom charts of accounts, create custom fields, and set up roles that match your company structure. And if you really want to get specific, you can define unlimited dimensions, like departments or regions across multiple entities. You don't even get some of those features in paid accounting software, so getting them for free is kind of wild. Now on the flip side, with this much flexibility, it's easy to over-customize. And I've seen businesses spend weeks fine-tuning settings that they really don't need, only to break their system when updates roll out. So it's powerful, but you've got to use that power wisely. That said, ERP Next stands out with its all-in-one free plan. There's no hidden fees, and advanced features aren't blocked behind paywalls. Of course, you'll need to download and customize the source code yourself and host it on your own servers. If that sounds like too much work, Frappe also offers a cloud hosting service. It's pretty cheap, especially if you're a small business starting at just $5 a month. If you're a mid to large size company, it'll cost you over $200 per month. Again, this is optional, but sometimes it's worth it to pay for convenience. And if you want a deeper dive into ERP Next, check out our full video review. Now, speaking of flexibility, let's talk about Odoo, which we often recommend for small professional businesses. The open source community version has a module or design, so you can start with only what you need. The projects module lets you set stages on a Kanban board, so your team can drag and drop tasks throughout the completion process. And because it's so customizable, almost any service-based business can use it, including tech consultants or marketing agencies. It makes managing projects easy without paying for a standalone PM like Monday.com. Another great aspect of Odoo is its developer community. It's been around since 2002 and has a ton of free recommendations and training resources. You'll still need solid technical skills to host it yourself, but the support ecosystem lowers the learning curve. The catch with Odoo is that the open source version doesn't have all the features. Things like payroll and core accounting are only available in the closed sourced enterprise edition. This requires a monthly subscription starting at $39 per user per month. But honestly, if you're just starting out, the free version should be enough. Just be aware, you'll probably have to upgrade if you grow. And that's where a lot of businesses hit the wall. Do you go with the free flexibility of an open source? Or pay for the features you really need? Add in the time and tech skills it takes to manage everything yourself, and yeah, it can feel like a lot. That's why at Software Connect, we match businesses like yours with ERP systems that fit your exact needs, saving you hours of research and headaches. Click on the link in the description or visit softwareconnect.com to get free personalized recommendations. If you're looking for a solid no-frill CRM, Dolabar is worth a look. You can create detailed prospect cards with custom fields, tags, and statuses. From there, follow them through the sales pipeline from the initial quote to the final invoice. As you convert more and more prospects, Dolabar keeps stats on your success rate, channels, and sales reps' performance. So if you're trying to sharpen your sales processes, this platform gives you insights to work with. Dolabar can be used as an all-in-one ERP suite, or you can pick and choose which modules you want. It's a lot like ERP Next, it's fully open source, so there's no paywall for any feature. If you want them to host it for you, you'll have to go through a preferred partner hosting service, which can sometimes be a pain. I'd suggest going with ERP Next or Odoo if you need hosting. They do it in-house. Another problem I have is that Dolabar isn't scalable. It's built mostly for startups or small businesses. Maybe a mid-sized company could make it work, but that's a stretch. The features are just too basic to meet complex business needs. So if you're growing rapidly, or if you have multiple entities, I'd steer clear of this one. Overall though, these are just a few of the open source ERPs available. For more options, check out our full roundup on softwareconnect.com. You'll find other platforms that might have flown under your radar, like Metasfresh and Bittrex24. The link is in the description. Running a consulting firm? A small shop? Something else entirely? Tell us your business type in the comments and we'll suggest the best open source ERP for your needs. But if open source sounds like too much work, I don't blame you. Unless you're a tech wizard, you might want to look at paid options like NetSuite or Dynamics 365 Business Central. And here at Software Connect, we'll get you competitive price quotes and demos with systems that fit your exact needs. 
Thanks for watching. And if you want more open source content, check out our Odoo versus ERP Next video or their individual review videos. Catch you next time.